Hello, right and proper ladies. Hello, uh, Ellie. Hello, Zoe, Lindsay, Sonia, and Bethan. Today is the day. My gift contribution to the right and proper ladies, as I've been alluding to for the last few days. Well, as a kid, I, I grew up in my dad's um, library and uh, amongst the bookshelves I placed my uh, various different toys and so on and so forth so I spent an enormous amount of time in the library so I developed a, a love a love affair or, 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 an att or an extreme attachment to books and as I grew older uh, particularly after high school and you start sort of looking around and sort of seeing what the, out there the, the world has to offer, I began noticing that uh, there are two types of books. There are the books that you would go out in the, in, in, in the uh, retail, regular retail stores, which had a lot of, you know, there were a lot like the books that you had in the library, and then there were the older books. And as I started reading through the older books, uh, and this, this is one of the ones I found that I used to like going to old the bookstores. Started going to old bookstores, and I found books like this. This is a book uh, from 1950, and you might want to take a look at the author down here. It's uh, Winston Churchill. I actually got a whole. I have a whole series of this. Uh, and it's his memoirs from World War II and a whole a variety of his uh, life experiences are in books similar to this. Great read. And what I found out about books like this and one of my other favorite books, here's my other favorite book, one that I spend an enormous amount of time reading, and this this one here. Again, another old book. Uh, open up the cover to see when this book was. Uh, this is the Webster's Webster's New World Dictionary. Mm -hmm. Let's see, New World Dictionary. There, you can see that better. And this is from Toronto, Canada. And if we go inside a little bit further, we can get a date on this. And the date on here. Again, uh, guess brings us into uh, basically from nineteen, basically f from uh, n from the 1950, 1953 to nineteen fifty nine. So we're talking about this was in, in the published in the fifties here. The, the, and this book that I like a lot is a dictionary. And I spend a fair chunk of time reading this. And as I went through a lot of these older books, I began seeing that a lot of stuff had changed, and that the way we're sort of the way we see things today was not necessarily the way they saw things back then. And that every library, to a certain degree, has something hidden inside of it. Things that never really see the light of day and are never intended to see the light of day. And so this is the new book series that, are, that I'll be working on for the, uh, the Bass Institute channel, the uh, Byzantine Antiquities uh, Studies Institute channel. Uh, this is the preview for this. And it will be looking into a lot of the hidden secrets inside of the library and inside of books like this. The old books because you couldn't say things, there there were certain things you couldn't say. Old books and stories often had things uh, written in them in what they call a subtext that they couldn't say overtly. So you could you have things in here in, in, in terms of history that have been removed from the modern textbooks and modern books that uh, that or basically there it's like going on a nice little treasure hunt so here is the treasure hunt for you people because you do have a treasure hunt of your own and it has to do with Harry Potter 
guess what? J.K. Rowling did not is not the original author of Harry Potter. There is another author of Harry Potter, a previous Harry Potter that was in the 1980s. And there has been a wild firestorm of speculation as to whether or not J.K. Rowling lifted her story from this original Harry Potter. And I'm going to say I'm going to say original Harry Potter in a quotation mark because we don't know whether he, where he got the, the word the, the the Harry Potter from. Because in his story there were two Harry, Harry Potters. There was a Harry Potter Senior and a Harry Potter Junior. And it's Junior is the one where uh, is the one that uh, seems to be more of the one that. Um, J.K. Rowling sort of lifted her story from. So this is what the documentary will cover, but the, the, the opening documentary will cover uh, Harry Potter. And if you want to find out what happens about Harry Potter to see where I get my information from or how I get my information, then you have to come and watch the documentary on the Bash channel. Yeah. <laughs> Here's my little trick there now. So you got got you got interested there. If you've read the series of Harry Potter and watched the movies, here's the thing. This is not the original Harry Potter. There was one before. And this will be revealed and talked about further in the first episode of The Mysteries in the Library. All right, ladies, of the right and proper ladies, this is my gift. Ellie, Zoe, Lindsay, Beth, Sonia, and Bethan. See you.